What's up guys, I'm your host Emily for Emily's Robotronics dot in and here I'm with a newer version of my uh, robot controller M1 board and the reason that I have uh, this board with me today and I'm making this video is to uh, tell you about uh, this board so I call it b a bare minimum version of the robot controller M1 so the reason that I call uh, bare minimum is uh, as you can see the board is not completely populated so first thing let me just tell you uh, why I uh, came up with uh, this version so there have been a lot of requests uh, for the robot controller M1 board from people uh, asking me about the details about the pricing and uh, stuff like that and uh, I also heard from a few of them uh, thinking that it's this board is a bit uh, highly priced for them so uh, especially for students out there who've just started to learn about microcontroller programming, uh, buying this uh, board, the completely populated robot controller M1 board, uh, may not be uh, within their budget. So this board is about uh, 650 uh, Indian rupees, so that is somewhere about uh, um, 12 dollars. So 12 dollars is uh, the price uh, for this board. So people. I mean the students out there who have just uh, begun their engineering uh, life I mean it, it, it's kind of hard for them to uh, maybe uh, pay $12 and get this board so uh, just to overcome that cost limitation cost factor uh, in uh, marketing the board what I did is I came up with a bare minimum board so this board doesn't have a lot of components on it so it has all the necessary components so that you can connect this board to your USB program the microcontroller and use the, use the input output interfaces so this doesn't have a voltage regulator so that means that you cannot connect a battery directly to it and you cannot connect this connect you cannot uh, power uh, this board using a battery and uh, it doesn't have a motor driver circuitry so you cannot uh, drive uh, motors with this board because the uh, circuitry is not populated here and also it is it doesn't have the toggle switches which sets it sets the programming sets the board into programming mode and uh, enables or disables the motor driver circuitry and it doesn't also have uh, the various uh, connectors such as this power switch and uh, other connectors for connecting motors and Bluetooth and uh, stuff like that so it totally makes sense because since you don't have uh, the uh, motor driving circuitry here so you will not require uh, the connectors as well so uh, that that's the reason uh, I have stripped down all the components and I've uh, designed this bare minimum version so this board is com complete uh, completely functional so you can power this board uh, to any USB uh, port of your uh, through the USB cable and uh, you can program the microcontroller on it and you can uh, use the input output uh, pins on this microcontroller so that gives you complete freedom to use this board and uh, second good thing about this is this board this uh, device this board doesn't come in a minimum version wherein uh, you don't have uh, uh, the freedom to populate the board later on if it's required but as you can see this is a complete uh, PCB that's available as uh, and the robot controller M1 board so if you want to expand this board for your uh, features the, uh, can, the the pin the pin layout the PCB layout is all there so all that you need to do is plug in the various components that you need as and when you require them solder them and uh, use it as a complete board so it's totally up to you so you can start your project with a bare minimum board like this and uh, use the minimum features and as you uh, feel the necessity necessary to uh, expand the functionalities of this board you can go on populating the components and uh, you can use it so what I'm gonna do is I will be populating uh, most of the required uh, parts in this board so all the co required components for this microcontroller to be uh, uh, functioning and also the USB interface to be functioning so that is what uh, you will find in this uh, board with uh, the complete PCB available to be expanded anytime and uh, the main reason is this will save you a lot of cost so as you can see there are a lot of components on this board so I have provided connectors and this board will also come with the RMC connectors which would be uh, plugged in through these boards so uh, that would add up to the cost the L293 DIC the voltage regulator the switches the connectors and uh, all the toggle switches so all this uh, components add up to the cost so in case 
you if you are the one who doesn't doesn't bother about the price and you, you just need the functionality you can go for this board so this is a robot controller m1 board which is completely functional and uh, if you are worried about the pricing if you think that uh, your this board the robot controller m1 board wouldn't fit into your budget and uh, you don't require the motor driving functionality and all that you would just if you're uh, just looking for uh, building a project which uh, which would be just uh, powered uh, via usb and uh, it is just to uh, do the normal input output operations so you can go for uh, this bare minimum version so as I already as I already told you this board is completely functional you can plug the board to a computer using uh, the USB uh, connector so you can use you can use a normal USB to mini USB cable and you can plug this board and you can program it so one thing that you would uh, rem that you need to remember when you are using this board is that in case you want to program it right like in case of a robot control M1 board you had this toggle switch so you, you had this uh, dip switch so you had to slide it towards uh, the right to enable the programming mode and then uh, you could program uh, the robot control m1 so in this case since we don't have uh, the toggle switch what you need to do is you use a single connecting wire connect the last pin of uh, this this header here that is port D and uh, connect it uh, to port C so use a single wire short these two pins and your board enters into programming mode so that is what you need to do Plug, connect a single wire, uh, short these two pins and uh, connect the USB uh, uh, connector to your uh, PC and then press the reset button and you would see your board entering into programming mode. So that is all you need to do in case you need to program it and uh, since there is no power switch on this board in case you are uh, in case you want to turn this board on or off. So there is this jumper here. So this jumper is always set to use uh, the USB uh, power supply mode. So that is uh, the last two pins are shorted together. So using this jumper. So once you have it shorted, this lets your board uh, work and that lets the board take the USB uh, power supply uh, and use it. But in case you want the board to be switched off, all that you need to do is just plug the connector back to this position that is like shorting pin number 1 and pin number 2 and that will uh, keep your board turned off. So that means the power supply coming from the USB is not provided to the board and your board is turned off. So this is like a manual switch that I have provided. This is a, a available feature on uh, the robot controller M1 board, the fully populated version. But here in this case, uh, we use it to set the different uh, power supply mode. So we use uh, the shorting of 2 and 3 to use the USB power supply and we use uh, 1 and 2 to use the external battery supply since there is no external circuitry here external power supply circuitry so we don't uh, setting this jumper to the mode 1 and 2 uh, shorting pin number 1 and 2 will uh, keep this board uh, turned off so there you guys uh, it's a sweet news for all of you who are uh, entering the world of AVR microcontrollers and if you are looking for a mini development board uh, without the hassle of uh, using an external programming device and all that sort of thing if you're looking for a simple uh, AVR uh, development platform wherein you can program the board uh, using the USB interface here is the board for you so this robot controller M1 board the bare minimum version will give you all the freedom to expand uh, the features and uh, fully populate it with the components so that you have the fully functional uh, powerful robot controller M1 board so here it is and I'm targeting uh, to sell this board for about 250 rupees so that is uh, something like five dollars uh, so five dollars you would get this board alone you won't you wouldn't be getting uh, the USB uh, connecting uh, wire and also the DVD so uh, I would provide a link uh, for the software so that you can uh, download uh, uh, the complete package from the internet so that, that so six dollars you're getting a complete uh, robot controller M1 board with waiting to be populated with all the components to make it a powerful fully functional robot control M1 board but not yet done and uh, here is uh, the board to you so all those guys uh, interested in this board just uh, log in please uh, go to my website that is www.mds-robotronics.in I would leave the link below in the description and uh, uh, if you can navigate to the product section uh, in that website you you would definitely see a, a product enquiry form so just fill in the details and I will uh, get back to you uh, about 
uh, with the details of this board and uh, the rest of the stuff. So, uh, if you if you guys are interested, uh, do click on the like button. Do uh, uh, visit my website and fill the product inquiry form, and I will get back to you uh, uh, so that I can uh, so that you can have uh, one of these boards for your projects. And uh, if you like this video, do click on the like button. Do subscribe to my subscribe to my channel so that uh, you are always in. Uh, informed about the latest products that are uh, coming from uh, MD's Robotronics and uh, all sort of other uh, videos related uh, to robotics and electronics and uh, in case you don't like the video please please leave your comments below as to why you didn't like it so that I can work on it and make uh, the videos better so that's it uh, for today guys uh, if you are interested in either of the boats you are free to visit my website and free to send me a, a free to fill the inquiry form and I will get back to you uh, so that you can buy one of these boards from me and uh, work on your projects. So that's it for this video guys. Thank you. Thanks for watching.